Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. All righty, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, let's get you all in here. And. Okay, stop. Here we go. This is good. And let's bring people from the other side to join us, people. People, we want to get people from the other side, people. Let's see, people from the other side, come on over. All right. Okay, all right. Come on, on. Here we go. We're going to do this. Do this. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, we're going to, we don't want this. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay, here we go. And let's see if we can get this going. Share. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. No, no. Stop. Okay. This is, no, no, this is bothering me. Please, please, stop. Stop, stop, share, yes. Okay, here we are. We're ready for you people. Let's see who's joining. Hello, Sarah, how are you? Becky Voth, the mother, uh, together here. Come on, everyone. Bobby Miller, how are you, my friend? Catherine Allen, welcome to the show. And let's see who else. Becky Ottenbury, Rita, 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 welcome. And let's see. Okay, welcoming people on this Thursday night, come on over, all right, Michael Ramirez, hello, I was tempted to stay on the other side, but it's too hot, I know, well, come here, it's cooler here, Debbie Malone, how are you, good evening, Rita, and let's see, blessed to see you guys, man, Amy's here, Dolores is here, how are you guys? And let's see, quick, 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 who else is joining us? Good, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, Thursday, good day. What else, what's going on today? Nothing, nothing crazy, just another normal day, which is a blessing to have another normal day. Uh, even though it's exciting to have different things, but it's a blessing. So... Uh, let me tell you what's going on. Um, I'm waiting. Conrad Padilla, how are you, my friend? My friend Conrad. It's been a long time. How are you, brother? Okay, let's see. Amy's here from Highland. And... Uh, This is awesome. We're starting to get almost like 90 to 100 people here. Almost 90 here and over 100 on the, on the podcast. So next week's podcast is going to be comedian Anthony Griffith. Comedian Anthony Griffith has MS. And it was, it just, you know, and he somehow is slowing it down with his diet. Still performing, he's an actor, he's a comedian, you've seen him on many shows, he was on the Apostles of Comedy, so he'll be joining us next Tuesday, and he's a very funny guy, and let's see, okay, okay, so, uh, last night I asked you the question, worst name for a boat or a yacht, the worst name for a boat or a yacht? At number 20, Inheritance. At number 19, Under the Sea. At number 18, Shark Bait. Number 17, On the Rocks. At number 16, Sir Sings a Lot. This came from the nine year old Rex. At number 15, Don Knotts. <laughs> At number 14, The Exxon Valdez. That's a bad name for a boat. At number 13, Naughty Nautical Nancy. <laughs> At number 12, Noah's Ark, 2026. At number 11, Sunken and Drunken. At number 10, <laughs> Bottoms Up. 
At number nine, capsized. At number eight, no TP on board. At number seven, nervous wreck. We're talking about worst names for a boat or a yacht. At number six, the SS cheapskate. <laughs> At number five, soggy bottom. <laughs> At number four, flotation device. At number three, sunken donuts. Not Dunkin' Donuts, sunken donuts. At number two, gone with the wind. At, at number one, Mayday. That's the worst name for a boat. Mayday, Mayday. <laughs> and that came from Lily. So Lily's not here yet, but uh, that's funny. Okay, here's my thoughts for today. I just want to share it. I'm not venting. I'm in a good mood. I don't have any shows this weekend, so I'm going to be tomorrow. It's Friday. I have three appointments in the morning. Voice of Refugees. And then I have a lunch with a marketing guy. And then I have a meeting for a haircut because I'm flying next week. And then also I have a meeting in the afternoon evening with a with a with a comedian who became a Christian. And he doesn't know what to do with his act. So he doesn't he thinks he's gonna quit. So guess what? Hey. I'm the perfect guy to talk to him. So I don't know when I'm going to meet him and what's going on. So I'll let you know if there's a show tomorrow or not. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that goes. The whole schedule, maybe Maha is going to come down to Orange County and meet me there with him. Uh, so anyway, I'll let you know tomorrow. But this weekend, I am home on Saturday. Voice of Refugees, my ministry, is having a Women's Day where women come in, refugee women come in, and other women will do their hair, they'll do their nails, make them feel human again, which is really amazing. I mean, we've done this for several years before the, pand before the pandemic, and now we're bringing it back. But it's just, can you imagine you just re left your country, you really don't know what's going on, you come here, you're trying to just survive, just to survive and take care of your kids and all that, and... With all that stress, you come in for a day and they massage your head and they do your hair and they give you makeup and they give you do your nails and your, you know, whatever they call the feet, the toes, pedicure, manicure, whatever care they do. I don't care what they do. We take care of it. It's free. We love on these people and we show them the love of Jesus. So if you want to volunteer if you're a lady and you live near anaheim california please be join us okay let's see dust and pollen got to me thank you bobby okay the superior court nominee cannot define what a woman is i can i'm married to one i have two of them in my house i have estrogen dripping from my ceiling peeling people i know what a woman is i know exactly what a woman is hmm Good evening all. Going to put in a plug for a new show on TBN. Okay. And I have a show come Monday called Center Point. News and commentaries for Tahoe's with a Christian Center Life. Oh, is that is that the one with the new... I just heard about that with uh, Matt and Lori Crouch and they having Governor Huckabee on it. I think that's the show. So anyway, he's. Uh, I'm going to be on Huckabee in August 12th. So let's let's change the subject. Let's talk music a little bit. You know, when I lived overseas, you know, we, our English was very very weak. We didn't. When I lived in Kuwait, I didn't speak English. So as a teenager or younger, when we go to places and they have like sometimes parties and you dance, you don't know what the lyrics of the song. Like, you know, we used to dance at the song Tragedy by the Bee Gees. And they're going tragedy, and we're like, yeah, we're smiling. And then you, you do a slow song, and you're dancing with someone, and you go, this is going to be our own song. It's a song called On My Own. On My Own. It's about divorce. And you're going, oh, this is our song. On My Own. <laughs> I don't know if I was a prophet or something. But... You don't know the lyrics, so whatever the song is, we don't know. We're just dancing. You know, you just hear the music and you go with the music. 
But somehow music was a big part of our lives. Why we love music is because we hate silence. Silence makes us think and sometimes we don't want to think. So we just turn the music up and it's good. You know, if you're singing, you feel better. You sing because you feel better. But when you sing, you feel better. So it's like, it's just a, it's a cycle. Uh, people like different kinds of music, but not everybody can listen to the same music. You know that. You know, you cannot listen to Pavarotti or Beethoven when you're broke. You cannot be broke and listen to classical or opera music. You cannot. You're broke. You can't do it. You have to have money to be able to just sit and listen to Pavarotti or any opera or music or Beethoven. Can't. Broke people don't listen to that. You cannot have ADHD and listen to reggae music. You cannot. You can't. Trust me. You cannot play any kind of music in certain places. Like, you cannot play rap at a bank. You can't go to a bank and listen to a rap song. The rapping. You're not, it's not going to happen. Heavy metal at an ICU room. Can you listen to Metallica if you're in the ICU room? You cannot. They won't play it. Classical music at an auto repair shop. If you're an auto repair guy playing classical music, don't go there. Go some Country music at a Black Lives Matter gathering does not work <laughs> you will never hear country music at a black lives matter gathering that's just telling you so here's a question for you uh give me some places give me some places where certain music cannot be played give me some places where certain music cannot be played. Okay. Let me see what we got. Sophia, you want to copy with... Oh, Sophia's here. Hello, Sophia. Two days in a row. We are so blessed. I don't know where I had... I hope these ladies feel great. Thank you. All right, let's see... There's already a song called All By Myself. Another one. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, I corrected. Uh, oh, no, yeah. It's not so great to find out what the actual lyrics of the song are. It kind of ruin it. Yep. Sounds good to me. Oh, goodness. This is funny. Give me some places. Yes. Yep. I want to steal the... Uh, Becky, <laughs> church, yeah, what kind of music you can't play at, sir? <laughs> Certain music cannot be played. Like what kind of music and where? Christmas music on Easter, that's correct. All right, Joey Stilson is here, our chef. Can I have salsa? <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Lily is here, the winner of the best May Day. Name for a boat, Lily. Ukrainian in Russia. You can play music. Funeral, stand tall. <laughs> That's funny. You cannot say a song called stand tall at a funeral. Okay, Metallica at a funeral service, right? Weight Watchers meeting. What kind of music? You have to tell me what kind of music and where. Like I said, you can't play, for example, I said you cannot play rap at a bank, heavy metal at an IC room classical music at an auto repair shop or country music at a Black Lives Matter gathering. Shakira at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. No. Staying alive at a funeral. <laughs> funeral, staying alive. Yes. At wedding, the breakup songs. <laughs> Polka music at a rap festival. Right. Prop me up by a jukebox at a funeral. <laughs> All right, what kind of music? McDonald's theme music at In-N-Out Burger, right? Latin at a beach fest, a Bach festival. Jazz during a workout. Okay, that's good. She gets it. Sarah gets it. Classical music at a rodeo. That's right. That's good, Brent. Hello, Brent. How are you? I've got a river of life coming out of me. While waiting a long line for the restroom. Hey, I do that joke. 
but not a restroom. Country music at a rap concert, right. Blue grass at the bar mitzvah. That's good. High society affair, I go crazy. <laughs> During surgery, I cut you up music. Heavy metal at a classical music festival. All right, it's 8.45, people. Time to hydrate and share, please. All 75 people, hydrate and share. Halloween music at Christmas. Cajun music in the north. Hello from Polka Party, Wisconsin. Hello, Matthew, Derek, welcome. Allah Akbar lyrics at an airport, okay? <laughs> During surgery, okay? Electric disco while trying to do a sleep study. <laughs> okay, Amish ga gathering Mustang Sally. Heavy metal at a dentist's office. <laughs> Qu Queen rock music at a retirement home, <laughs> that's right. Indie music at a country and western store. American patriotic music during Cinco de Mayo. Oh, wait, that was the boat name that I wanted to add, but I didn't. Cinco de Mayo, that could have been number two. Snoop Dogg at the Pastor Appreciation Dinner. <laughs> Good one. Oprah music at a rave concert. Pop music at a rock festival, heavy metal at a bluegrass festival, on a clip over seeing the mountains bust the move, <laughs> okay, or sink and smile, <laughs> depends on the pastor, that's true, they might like Snoop Dogg. Highway to Hell at a Revival Service. Beyonce at a Church Men's Conference. <laughs> Heavy metal is closer related to classical than rock and roll. Really? Rock, rock and roll music and library, right? Speaking in tongues, lyrics without translator, okay. Heavy metal in the operating room. All righty, all righty, all righty. ACDC at a youth revival. Oh, I think that might work. <laughs> you shouldn't, but that might they might like that. Christian music at a strip <laughs> No comments. Okay. <laughs> My mind went to what song would fit, but I'm like, no, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I hold every thought captive, including every thought Brent is trying to put in my head. <laughs> Norwegian folk music at a South American event. Okay, that won't work. An employment line. Take this job and shove it. <laughs> Heavy metal music when you're trying to sleep. Right. <laughs> Irish drinking songs at an AA meeting. The blues at a wedding. <laughs> Dirge music at a hip-hop club. Highway to Hell was played at a church as an example of not where you want to be. We were there, it's true. Oh, that's funny. Def Leppard at a deaf show. <laughs> okay. Elton's Yellow Brick Road at the Wiz. <laughs> hey, Nancy. The Wizard of Oz. Beach Boys at a Celtic Woman concert. <laughs> Why would that? That wouldn't work, huh? Uh, relaxing music in traffic. You fall asleep at the wheel, right? Opera at a gun show. <laughs> um, country music played at an Irish pub. Bluegrass music at an inauguration. <laughs> what is bluegrass? I tried to ask... Uh, Mr. Dennis Agajinian, but he got distracted with something else or he was trying to answer something else, but he never answered my question. What is bluegrass music? 
How is that different than country? I have no clue. If you do, let me know. AA meeting, 100 bottles of beer on the wall. It's funny, I'm wearing blue and nothing happens. Sometimes if I wear bluish gray, all of a sudden my brain shows up on the camera. Teachers leave those kids alone at a teacher's union meeting. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Copy from Google. Bluegrass music is a genre of American roots music that developed in the 40s in the U.S. Appalachian region. Okay. The genre derives its name from the band Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. Oh, unlike mainstream country music, bluegrass is traditionally played on acoustic stringed instruments. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Acoustic stringed instrument. Okay, so Willie Nelson music, you know, the guy that's always behind him on those strings. I distracted Dennis Ness. <laughs> Banjo and fiddle music mostly, and singing out of your nose. <laughs> Cat mewing music at a dog pound. <laughs> Make all the dogs bark, right, Amy? Dueling banjos in the hood, right? <laughs> oh, that's bad. Look look up comedian Steve Martin. He tours with his band doing bluegrass. I see. I love bluegrass music while wearing blue jeans. Okay. Bad religion and a baptism. <laughs> a genre of music roots music developed in the 40s. Okay. Candle in the wind in a tornado shelter. <laughs> Bluegrass is played without electricity. Okay, that's what it is. On acoustic. The sort of the redneck of music. Okay. Bluegrass is the green grass. <laughs> the like twin. Okay, Timothy, thank you for explaining that to me. Bunch of music at a revival service. Mariachi music at a Proud Boys meeting. <laughs> that's funny, Michael. Probably came from the Blue Ridge Mountain. Oh. No. Baby shark at a fashion show. <laughs> Desert laughter in the rain. Air supply in the nursing home. Death metal at a circumcision. <laughs> Did you see what I see at a burning man? What? Do you see what I see at a burning man? <laughs> Barney's songs at a funeral. <laughs> Rap music at a KKK event, right? Okay, let's see. Artists like Bill Monroe are the Blue Glass Boys. Okay. Horse with no name at a rodeo. <laughs> what was the horse's name? He didn't have a name. Reggae music at a woman's tea party. <laughs> Green grass is climate control. <laughs> Devil went down to Georgia in Alabama. <laughs> Celine Dion at an Oprah appreciation event. Rap at a hospital. Miss America contest wipeout. <laughs> Hey, Frank, how are you? Mr. Ed, that's his name, the horse with no name. Funeral songs at a baby shower. <laughs> Hello, Frank. All right, Bill Gaither. <laughs> anyway, the love that Joey have for Bill Gaither, the consistency for over 100 shows, <laughs> just shows me the love he has for Mr. Bill Gaither. <laughs> Good night all. I have to go my day tomorrow. Special prayer request for March 25th, 22 for me. We'll be praying for you. We did yesterday and we will today, tonight. Suspenseful music on a cruise. Oh, no. <laughs> Suspenseful. Is that a word? Suspenseful. When the roll is called up yonder in the TPI. <laughs> 
Dude looks like a lady at a Miss America pageant. Okay. Go green. We did that when we were kids by turning off the lights and TV to go outside and play all day, right? All right, let me change the question on you people. All right, this one came from, um, what, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Chris Rossetti, and it is, what do the initials LOL really stand for? We know the normal one, but what does it stand for? Let's see, what do you think? All right. Lady Gaga at a men's Bible conference. Okay, disco music during an offer, the offering. <laughs> Burn, baby, burn while battling a forest fire. <laughs> okay, love our Lord. Oh, okay, Rita, that's nice. Lost over lollipops, good. Love over liver. <laughs> Here goes my appetite. Uh, <laughs> live often <and> lazy. <laughs> lily, oh, lily. Okay, <laughs> I love it. Lily, oh, lily. Did you know you won the number one today? Did I say that again? To make sure. Living on love, lonely over life. Let's see what else. Lots of loot. <laughs> That's happening in California now. Why am I so small all of a sudden? I'm far away now. Huh. Interesting. All right. Anybody else? LOL, what does it stand for? Let's see. Living on love. Lots of orifices leak. <laughs> Lost over last. I was wondering. Living, lots of orifices leak. <laughs> I hope you're not at lunch, are you, Joey? Like over love, live out loud, lights out, loser. <laughs> As for the neighbor, right? Lights out, loser. Logs on leave, likable or lovable. Like only lizards. <laughs> picky, 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 Rita. What about the other critters and other? No, lizards are not critters. They're... What are they? Which way? Let's see. There were turtles and and crocodiles and whatever they are. They live longer than us. Leave oven light. Did we lose Nas video? What? I'm here. Can you guys see me? Leave only lobsters. <laughs> okay, let's hydrate and share all 72 people. Guys, uh, it came back. Oh, I did? You lost me? Lavatory <laughs> older lavatories. <laughs> Amy. Love our lions. Lee lonely only lonely. I did. Did you guys lose me? I don't know, it wasn't from here. Reptiles and snake. Yeah, reptiles. I see you as lumps on ladies. <laughs> oh look, eh? Yes, you can see you, but yes, your background is a lot bigger now. I know, I think something happened when I was putting this background. It was too big, so somehow it changed something. But it's okay, I'll I'll be large again. Lost video for a moment, then my Facebook app stopped. I came back on. Good. Briefly, you froze. It wasn't from me, it was from Facebook. Leave only likes. Louisiana... 
over London. Yes, lost in your back now. Loud out laugh. Lucky or lazy. Okay. Shoot. Okay, here we go. And lifestyle of Kierning. Sophia. Leotards over leggings. No, leggings are better. If you want some, let me know. Okay. Let me give you a different question. Since, are you still lumps of, on lizards? Learning old London. Lemons occurred lately. Lemon on lime. Love our Louisiana. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. By the way, tomorrow there's no show. Just confirming. There's no show tomorrow. And I think I will be in Orange County waiting for my lovely wife to meet me there. And I have to respect that. So I'll be down there with her. So, and then I have a meeting before that with this new up and coming. Well, he's a comedian, but he became a Christian. So I love that. Lakers or Lakers? <laughs> uh, le lic licorice or locust? That was lifestyle of learning. Okay. Lifestyle of learning, ladies of Alation <laughs> League. Lincoln's over London, leaning over ledges. Okay, we'll miss you, Naz, but hope you have a great day tomorrow. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry, you know what? I was used to the the quarantine where every night, every night. But then, you know, life starts happening now again. Liable over lawsuit. <laughs> okay, you deserve that. Thank you. No, it's work. I have three meetings tomorrow. Three? No, four. The evening one is four. And then I'll meet with my wife. So that's five, which is the best meeting. Okay. Latino or Latina? All right. Lost Omaha listening. <laughs> okay. Let me... You know what? Let's do the Guinness Book of World Record. Let's go to the Guinness Book of World Record so I can be big again. Too far away. Living the Obama life. <laughs> That's L-O-L-O. -L -O. Land of lakes, of course. That's the butter we use. Laughter of love. Where am I? Oh, shoot. I knew it. I knew it. Learn our language. When I'm feeling bothered, I'm more like LMA. Okay, let's see. Is this going to be the same thing? I'm disappearing again. I know exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. It'll be fixed by the next show. So let's... Um, okay, we're going to do the Guinness Book of World Record, but it's going to be on this background. So, uh, living the Obama land of Lake you... <laughs> you disappeared. I'm back. Okay. Today is National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. But we don't have a lot of good raisin Guinness Book of World Records, so we're going to talk chocolate right now. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry, ladies. Loop on loop. He pushed the big red button. I did. Have a great weekend. All right, Alan. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Losing hands again. Here we go. Okay. The largest individual chocolate, individual one-piece chocolate, uh, was a chocolate Hershey's Kiss made. The chocolate was made to celebrate Hershey's Kiss's 100th anniversary and was displayed at the Chocolate World, Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's where they have the, like a Disneyland, like an amusement park, the Hershey amusement park. In fact, that's funny, a few days ago, and my niece that was with us here, she was telling me about telling John about Hershey and all the rides she was riding in Pennsylvania, Hershey, Pennsylvania. So how much did this individual chocolate weigh? Over 10,000 pounds 
under a hundred thousand pounds over ten thousand under a hundred thousand pounds give me your best answers charlie and the chocolate factory right yeah chocolate look out loser lol <laughs> sarah's crying love orange licking <laughs> is that like chocolate covered ants kinda All right, so how much did the largest individual chocolate that Hershey made for their 100th anniversary weigh it? Over 10,000 pounds, under 100,000 pounds. Let's see, read. Amy started, no, Be no, Amy started with 10,432. Becky Ottenberry, 66666-77777 on 88.888. Amy said 11 to 12. Rita, 33,044444 and 88.888. Amy said 13 to 31. Sarah, 10,513,514,500. Bobby Miller, 45,001, 50,001 and 55,001. Joey, 19,456, 30,456 and 60,456. Nancy, 33, 777, 13, 737, and 50,000 pounds. Dolores, 10,375, 46, 219, and 87,095. Lemon on lime, 27, 525, 33, 550, and 78,500 from Matthew Dirks. The rooster and ruby, of course, they would love some of that chocolate. So would I. <laughs> Poor thing. Ten five five six eighty seven nine sixty seven and fifty six two two two. Debbie Malone said ten seven hundred. Twelve five twenty three and seventy nine eight eight five. Sophia twenty five five fifty eight thousand and ninety eight thousand pounds. Keep thinking, keep dreaming. Imagine that much chocolate. I don't think you can handle it, because after you eat one block, you're done. Trust me, the sugar kicks in and you feel. 23 456 45 678 and 99 999 for Catherine Allen Pancho 23 250 25 550 and 45 750 where is Lily's did Lily make her guess because someone else is waiting for her Lily <laughs> 33 575 31 712 and 10,450 and here comes sold from Lily Yeah, I've been working on a couple of projects, and that chocolate would certainly help keep me going. I'm sure it will <laughs> for a while, and then you crash. So <laughs> sold. Okay, Bobby Miller sold. All right, where's Michael? Michael, where's Sophia? Sophia, did Sophia make a guess? Yeah, Sophia did. Okay, where's Michael Ramirez? Michael, where are you? Where's Sophia? Did Sophia... Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Where's our Sophia? Did she guess? Okay. I guess we didn't have Sophia's guesses yet. Or, but I did. I saw them. Here's Sophia. Sophia said, yeah, 25. Okay, so let's see what... Michael's Michael 33575 31712 and 10450 Oh He did not use Sophia he went with Lily Hmm You know you got to be you got to have some kind of commitment Mr. Michael got to commit to one <laughs> person if they're both here I don't know what to do but anyway Dolores, Michael is there <laughs> in the bottom. Okay, Michael Guess is there. Okay, good. Here we go. Let's do it. Not yet. I crashed already. We'll use it tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the largest individual chocolate was a chocolate Hershey's Kiss weighing 30,540 pounds. And the winner is Joey Stilson. Joey Stilton is a chef. He knows about chocolate. I thought... Here we go. Sophia feels, you know, cheated. She feels, uh, you know, betrayed. 
<laughs> Here we go. All right, Mr. Joey, this is for you and for your family and your kids in your new home. Enjoy this toilet paper. Hope to see you soon. Well, let me know what restaurant you're at. We'll come and have dinner there. Me and the lovely wife. No way. Yes way. You won. You did it. Proud of you. You're at lunch and you won something at lunch. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. You know, Michael's adding more fun to the Guinness Book of World Records. But here we go. Here's a question for you guys. It's I, Okay, spring is here. Spring is here, people. And this came from Chris Rosetti. And he said, now, see, I'm back to large. Now that <laughs> spring is here, what do you hope you grow this year? <laughs> Okay, now that spring is here, what do you hope you can grow this year? All righty, Moody Michael. Sophia, I thought you copied me and Lily too. Monday, Monday, yeah, we'll be back Monday for the show. Cool. All right, Joey. Cash. Sarah want to grow cash. Naz, you grew. Yeah, for the spring. <laughs> my hair on my back. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing. Diamonds. Money tree. You didn't even take one bite. Grow tired. Tired of chocolate. Grapes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for the wine, right? Did you guys know that Rancho Cucamonga has the oldest wine in in the nation, I think, or in California? Well, since it grows in the California, it's one of the oldest grape vines is in Rancho Cucamonga, which is about 15 minutes from my home. And that's when the, the Padres, when they came in, you know, the Spanish and they they planted the the vineyards and then you have temecula and uh, it just uh, and then you go up north to where there's napa and all that so california has great great wine great grapes and it's uh, also it's the same kind of grapes and the same weather that you have in the galilee in the holy land in israel in the Galilee, they're proud of their grapes, of their wine. So when you read John 15 about, I am the vine and you are the branches, you know what they're talking. Jesus was walking, he saw the vines right there in his way from the upper room to the Mount of Olives. So thank you for growing grapes, <laughs> Lily. Our new tree to get taller cold cash, grow more facial hair, tens, tens a night, brain cell, <laughs> that's funny, that is funny, that is funny, and it's not, you have to make it laugh, <laughs> good one, sapphires, I'm just trying to keep the yard alive in all the, El the Louisiana heat, Black lilac flowers. Hello, Terry. Welcome back with us. All right. Terry is um, Rochelle's mom. Rochelle is not here tonight. Grow new hands. Oh, cash crops. My hair to get longer. I want to grow some hair this year. Don't know that. Didn't know that. Yes. Joey, what's the question? The question is, now that spring is here, what do you hope you grow this year? Opals. <laughs> it's up near Victoria Gardens. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Emeralds. <laughs> grow a thick jungle to keep the mother lion. <laughs> Who won? Of course, it's Joey Stilson, our chef. 
and uh, Michael lost. <laughs> it's spring. What are you hoping to grow? Well, world championships, rubies. Michael and who? Michael and Lily. <laughs> no, <laughs> growing deeper in God's word. Okay, cacao, which is oh, coffee beans. My hair want to grow taller, <laughs> grow in wisdom, wiser. Pearls arriving so very late. It's okay. It's still. It's time to hydrate and share for the last time tonight. All eighty-one people. Hydrate and share. All right, gold, silver, good politicians. <laughs> Near Ontario is a winer too by the 60 freeway and the 15. Oh, I didn't grow my way down to the beach. Credit score. <laughs> That's funny, your credit score. Grow a new car. Grow closer to the stock market. Weeds. <laughs> uh, Go Gosati Vineyard. Oh. Gowasti Vineyard. Okay. Grow back my teeth. <laughs> Gold and silver. Lots, lots of weeds. Not pot. I know. I know what you're talking about. Grow my stocks. I grew my TP collection. <laughs> grow money. I hear it grows on trees. Nice abs, <laughs> okay. Me too, I'm trying. Maybe next spring, by next spring, want to grow taller. <laughs> grow my hair, my funny bone. Hoping for baby land snails to burst out of the ground. Oh, baby land snails. Mm. Don't they eat the plants? Uh, friendships. Grow my husband, Philip, up more. <laughs> Grow my paycheck. That's funny. All right. Wow. Now that the spring is here, what do you hope you grow this year? Grow Ness's vitamins. I still take them and I'm still feeling great. So I'm not going to push it on you guys. But I'm telling you, those are great vitamins. They're working great for me. So not pushing them on you anymore because of the funny comments i got so laughter blessings mushrooms the normal kind of course <laughs> okay you got three minutes people tell me what you want to grow this spring hope you grow patience for the fake news Grow better cable signal. <laughs> Grow up. Oh, land snails nibble on mushrooms. Okay. Don't know if something I can grow, but I want more hugs. Oh. Grow up grown-ups. Cactus in the desert. Grow another toe. <laughs> ah. In three minutes, coming up, my church bells. You got it, Neil. <laughs> I hope they're happy then. I uh, know, nosy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All righty. This is fun, people. We're having fun tonight. We're going green on this back screen. My green screen has some greens in it. We tried. This is what happened. We had a, a fig tree in, on the side of the house. And it was growing. But it wasn't getting much sun, so it was like leaning towards the sun. And Ma Maha asked the, our landscaper, she said, is there a way you can move it from here to there? And he goes, yeah. So he dug for it, and he goes, you guys' ground is very rocky. It's like you're, like you're on a hill. You're on a, it's like mountain. So anyway, he dug it and put it, and so far it looks like the same fig tree that Jesus cursed. Like dead, so we're here, we're waiting for the resurrection of our fig tree. So that's our hope that this fig tree will grow back to life, will be a resurrected tree, and will reap the fruits of her labor. If it's a female, if it's a woman, but then again, 
I don't know how to define a woman. Uh, figs. Mm. Yeah, if you're if you're if you're if you're from the Holy Land and you are able to grow trees in your house, this is the three thing: an olive tree, a fig tree, and a vineyard. That defines the Holy Land: grapes, figs, and olives. Grow better neighbors. My sense of humor. Grow mustache like Naz. Oh, that's right. I have a mustache. It comes with the nothing cuter than a baby land snail. Oh, glue a large face to make my nose look smaller. Are <laughs> so funny. Okay, my sense of humor. Okay, grow better neighbors. Space bigger pants. Growing more knowledge to make better beef stew. Ask uh, Joey. Figs are a favorite of mine. They're good. Grow more believers. Amen. In a minute here, I'll be time for confessions with Naz. Signaled by the church bills. Coming up. Is it confessions? Grow a clone to duplicate my productivity. <laughs> Laugh out there. Helping... To revive a servant's heart, feeling a bit withered. I understand. That's my prayer too, Terry. Well, your fig tree is one way to tell if he was there. <laughs> yeah. Soil looks dry in the pot on your right. It does. Like like my ground. Grow fern in my garden. <laughs> Grow out my roots, lots and lots of flowers. My friend John Newman Herring has so much avocados on his tree needs to be picked in Redlands for free. Okay, grow smaller lines at the store. Right. Okay, people, it is 924, which is time for our church bells. And it's time. An orange tree. Yes, also, yeah, you need orange tree. Okay. Prayer requests. Pray for Timothy Fakhuri. He asked for prayer for himself. So pray. Pray unspoken prayer for Sarah. Pray for Neil to understand. These are church bills. And if you are deeper in the world, my brother Neil, you'll know those are church, not doorbells. Doorbells sound different, and they don't come on at 9.23. Maggie Jo and her son's eyes, I hope they're getting... Give us updates, what's going on? Are they getting better? Prayers, thank you. Lily, pray that the eight children we made beds for are sleeping sound now, comfortable, and off the floor. Amen. Amen, we'll pray for that. Have doctor's appointment in the morning, checking my blood pressure. All right, praying for you, Bobby. Anybody else needs prayer? Pray for my comedy show. Yes, on Sunday, with chemo brain, I cannot memorize. 5 p.m. Pilgrim Congregational Church Moose Party Party Party. Oh, you're doing comedy there. Awesome. 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 I thought your dillbills is on a timer. <laughs> Keep praying for Remington. Unspoken for us will do, Matthew, for your grandson. Maybe we need some knocking on the door instead. <laughs> okay, praying for our future gigs for Naz. Thank you so much. My daughter is having a procedure tomorrow. Prayers of, we'll be praying for your daughter, Dolores. Prayer lifted. Thank you, Lily. Okay, pray for my back. Can't take any avail. Advil or any aspirin in it. Oh, well, try, try hot oil. Take olive oil and heat it up a little bit, not too much. Try putting vapor rub on the back because it heats up the body and it makes the pain less. Prayers for all and the war. Yes. For, thank you, Frank, for the Ukrainians and the Russians. There's a lot of Russian soldiers are dying that didn't want to be there. 
and they have mothers and they have wives and they have children, they have fathers. Pray for them, all of them. War is ugly. Okay, I'll try to get an update when I can, but Maggie Jo is busy mom of six and grandmother of three. Wow. Thank you. Pray for the Lord to guide me. Yes, yeah, still feeling the burn out and looking for new opportunities or open doors. We'll be praying for that, Sophia. Pray for what's going on in Europe, Middle East, our nation, and quite frankly, this whole world. Yes, just applied for a job with the IRS. Definitely need prayer. We'll be praying for you, Nancy. Once you get the job, please let us know. <laughs> Biofreeze works great. Okay, that's a good idea. Try Lidocaine. I love this group. Patches, they work great for sore back muscles. Okay, Lidocaine. Biofreeze spray for muscle pain. I put on it. Okay, good. Love hugs for everyone. We love you too, Pancho. Pray for all the kids mentioned on this show. Yes. Pray for me for wisdom. I need wisdom in every decision. I love you guys. Thank you so much for a great night. We will not be here tomorrow. Tomorrow we're off. So, we'll see you on Monday, God willing. Until then, keep praying. Stay in the Word every day. And... Uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. We're alive. God is not done with us. So let's go and do his work. Amen. Love you guys. Good night.